Crusaders story in 2011 is one of the most remarkable in New Zealand rugby history. Here is a team that has not played at home in Christchurch at all this season. It is challenging tonight here in Wellington to take honours in the New Zealand Conference. Pause. Engage! So we've got, we've got a flag, I, I believe. Yeah, and I think this will be a shoulder charge. Yeah, like a late tackle against? Against the head armor? It doesn't matter. 12 yards. No, it's not late if you ask me. 12? No way it's late. He just hasn't used his arms. So, Carter. And he is bang on target. And the Crusaders draw first blood in the game, leading by a 3 to nil. Not all. Broadhurst. Lababi. Here's Nono again. Harden's at the tackle of Carter. And he never shirks an opportunity to tackle. And they get a penalty as the Crusaders don't. Leave him, leave him. Taking his time. And uh, it is straightened through as well. So Aaron Cooper replies to the earlier penalty from Dan Carter. And after 35 minutes, it's 3 all. Good work by Ellis. He's the running absolutely down from a great height. And it uh, looks like the Crusaders have got themselves as they have a penalty offside play. You and second go at it from the ten meter line. line. I'm sure it have not go there. Crusaders very quickly regain the lead. Six points to three. And uh, now they send it right again. And just a couple of metres short. Real desperation. And no. no. Six in the side. No. Uh, presuming there was an infringement. You're on the ground uh, trying to go again, so I don't get a penalty. You will. Okay, so that's well, what he's just said. One. Sure. Is that sure. Andrew Hall was on the ground. So basically, Andrew Hall definitely scored the try, 100% I'm sure of that. But he was on the ground when he picked it up, which he can't do. He needs to regain his feet to play the ball. As Cooden puts it through, and the players will head to the dressing rooms. It's been an intriguing 40 minutes. It's two penalties apiece. And six all. And turns. Not into touch. Fielded by Hubert Marshall. Now it's off to Gilford. And Gilford shows his pace and busting clears up. Gilford still going. And he gets it across. And Fulham scores. And it hasn't taken long in the second half. Two hits Hurricanes players. Gilford and Fulham combined. For the first try of the match. Well, the sparkling orange boots of Zach Gilford, he is in such fine form at the moment. The guy is probably the most dangerous outside back in New Zealand. He's in such fine form. Now Wipu gets it wide. Wipu's got the arm up. Here's Nonu on the charge. Whoa! Lays it back for Wipu again. Now the impasse to Leua. Again Wipu. And the ball's gone back, and it was a penalty against the Crusaders. Yeah. Yes, he's on target again. So that's his third penalty goal. 13 points to nine. That was a loose pass. Oh, he nearly lost it for a moment, but he got it. Went back. Still playing advantage for Reed. Uh, fair enough. Well, he's playing advantage here for the Crusaders. Ellis is going to have a drop kick. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, it is a beauty. I reckon that's over. Yep, it is. Andy Ellis. And the Crusaders win the game, and they win the New Zealand Conference, and deservedly so. What a fantastic effort.